Hello guys and welcome to another exciting episode of Let's Talk Niger with me, Omolabake, and Tosi. Sitting right here in front of your screens or coming to you live from the studios of CTV. The show is brought to you courtesy Adama Slay Foundation. How have you guys been? Well, I've been, I've been great, I, I think. I think. All right, just <laughs> before we get right into the show, remember that to be part of the program, all you need is follow us on all our social media handles on Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube, Twitter. All right, it's a CTV Live. And to be a part of the program via WhatsApp, all you need is just drop right your comment on that number. Don't call that number. The number to drop your comment and your reaction is 0901560 one nine zero eight all right zero nine zero one five six zero one nine zero eight so that's the number to drop your comments and stop your reaction please don't call that number <laughs> i really state please don't call that number because you actually just, find people calling the number just, it's a whatsapp right. line so send your whatsapp rea your reactions via exactly. the whatsapp yes right. exactly so, uh, okay, also, how have you been how's your week been well, from been, the last time i saw you uh, well, I've been great, I think. Yeah, I mean, I look, yeah, I look, yeah, I feel great. Uh, you really feel great because <laughs> I've been seeing your your rants on social media, how <laughs> a particular social one network has been oh. raving you. Okay. What's happening? You want to share that with us? I think I just might. All right, let's see. I, I let's try see. my best, all right? I don't want to be angry, but I need to vent. I need it. So, people of God. Pa Paramount. I... <laughs> I don't like to see. I don't like deceit. I don't like lies from human beings, from organization, and especially from network providers. So if you're telling me something, a service is free, all right? Or you give. I did not ask for it. All right, so what happened was, let me tell you guys. What happened was, I subscribed for my my data plan as usual, and this particular network provider. This is my first time using it. I just got the line, okay. and then I subscribed, and then I was given free YouTube data. <laughs> I have to put that in quotes. Free YouTube date. I did not ask for it. You guys gave it to me. And then that free... When they say free things are not free. Continue, continue. I know, I know. I hope they put belay, but I did not ask for it. People who gave me free. I was supposed to use it. And then I went on YouTube. So first 10 minutes, I was trying to check, is this thing actually free? First 10 minutes, first 30 minutes. I kept on tracking it. My data was fine. It was living. It was breathing. No problem. That, no that's drama. Your normal data. My, yeah, my regular data balance was breathing. Right. No drama whatsoever. And then... So I got comfortable. Mm. I started downloading. What I started chilling mean? basically on YouTube. And then, mala, in less than how many minutes, <laughs> my data balance was like, S please, please, see, stop lying. You, it will not take you anywhere. Why do you have to lie? People I should don't change, know People should change. Is, but huh? Guys, I really love the great job you guys <laughs> have done with Abake. I mean, she was just ranting with me. Oh boy, you calm down. <laughs> <laughs> But no, look at it. Don't worry. You know, the, the, you know the, the, the thing about this thing, I feel like it's going to touch everybody. If they continue like this, you will also feel my pain. I don't want people to feel Join it. Join Beta Network, you know. <laughs> but I'm not advocating for anyone. <laughs> okay, oh. I have one more rant. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> I, have one more, <laughs> I have one more vent. So, my vent is the fact that uh, as the way the country is going, no, 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 I don't think any of us are excited. Uh, things are just... It's hard more difficult than it has to be, really. And my problem is the fact that we as citizens just, I think we're just as bad as our leaders, perhaps even worse. And I say this because, so there's been, in, we know that things have skyrocketed. The, the price of goods, services has skyrocketed. And everybody shouts, Dalau, Dalau. How much is pure than you? Gary, Dalau. How much is pure than you, I don't know. I haven't, don't gotten, I haven't gotten such water in a while. It's not 20 naira. Propious, legit. Pure water. Come on, guys. Era. Okay, well, well, for the pure water people, I heard. I, I don't know how. Sh uh, how uh, help yeah, I don't know how uh, the claim. I don't know how correct the claim is, but I heard that uh, for their processing, their cost have increased from their uh, the production, the nylon, yeah, 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 and things. And for them to source their chemicals, it's been quite pricey. Well, that part. I, am I a dog? My rant. Does we let me rant in peace? Rant in peace. Okay, I don't, let me do, I'll, I'll round up my rant. So, continuation of my rant is if everybody keeps on shouting, dollar, dollar this, so in the market woman selling pepper, dollar, the one selling Gary, dollar, fish, dollar, why now? And we just keep on hiking prices. Then uh, to the commercial drivers, yes, public transport. You see the guys who, uh, 
you, so typically, you know that this is the, the usual fare for a certain distance to this, and you already just, you know, you already don't budget. You're sure of, yeah, how much? Like, shouldn't be more than this within this range. If you now get to the bus stop and you happen to, uh, the, the, the bus stop happens to, be, happens to be crowded, a lot of people are at the bus stop. You're going to pay times too. Why? Because these guys see that there's a lot of people and, and just hike it. Why? Why it. now? Why? I, I don't know why. Now the electronics guys, uh, phones, what's in the heavens? Uh, wait, like, wait. What's in the heavens? Anybody that pisses me off, just take your, take your sub. What's in the heavens is called guys, we really, Guys, we really need to ask like, about here. <laughs> Has she really experienced all of this from <laughs> bus to... <laughs> Uh, people are selling fish to uh, no, duh, I eat. I eat only food. market I woman. Well <laughs> done, who? <laughs> of course, I eat food. So yes, I don't like the fact that they are shutting my ration. I can't have the as the, as much piece of meat as I want. Uh, don't even shout in dollar or dollar. Dollar yeah, is true now. Please, 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 please. Can we be real? We are real. Let's just be nicer to each other. I think that's the point. And the guys who say, oh, fufu, I'm not done with people. Ah. What's in the heavens <laughs> is... <laughs> what's in the heavens is fufu. Fufu, like, you guys know what I mean now. So you go to computer village, and your guy comes back to tell you that he wants to get a phone, and then he comes back like that. Ah, now fufu, they sell to me. What's in the heavens is fufu. Can we just be kind? It's not nice. And you think you, you've outsmarted uh, and outwitted somebody. We are not going fear to... Fear God. Don't bring that... You, don't fear bring God. That, don't bring that because... <laughs> I have a lot of stories <laughs> coming up in my head. So I'm now, like, now you feel my pain, right? Those guys in computer village. Come on now, oh, come on guys, was. come on guys. They've done a lot. We can do better. We can do better. All right, guys. So <laughs> all of this we're going to talk about. We, are, we actually have a particular topic we're going to talk about before Labake actually started ranting. You know, point out our mind. All right, so guys, drop your comments. Let's know if you've experienced any of these down in the comment section on Facebook, Instagram, on our YouTube channel. Guys, do well to subscribe. Like, please, please, please subscribe. we are begging you, see. Subscribe. We are begging. Subscribe. subscribe, like it. Let us know your feedback. Do you enjoy this kind of content? Do you want us to do more? What do you like for us to talk about that we've not talked about yeah. yet? All of that stuff. Uh, YouTube and the TCTV Live. Same thing with uh, Facebook. Same thing with Instagram. Same with Twitter. CTV Live is the handle. And on TikTok, That's it says... CTV Live One. That's the handle for you guys to right. talk to us via. Make sure you leave the hashtag Let's Talk Niger. All right, guys. So let's get into today's conversation proper. How about that? Today's convo mm. we bring to you. Mm. It is called mm. Are You Ready? <laughs> it is the Dafo Saga. So, guys, from the, title, <laughs> from the title, I think you guys already know what this is about. But we're not limiting this to Dafo. Yeah, exactly. The question now is. What's your wildest experience with public transportation. in public transport? Like exactly. the wildest thing that has ever happened to you with public transportation. So, guys, keep it coming. Keep your comments. Start dropping it. Start dropping it. I feel, like, I feel like you just prepared a meal before me. Like, <laughs> there's a whole lot of experience. There's a whole lot to talk about. You know, even before we came on, uh, right, you know that um, our manager in the studio was giving us his episode, <laughs> how this and this happened. <laughs> So, yeah, I think a lot of us have something that, to say. I, I want to please give me the honors to briefly say the floor is yours. Stories. The floor is yours. Need Enjoy. That story. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> All right, guys, let me quickly give a rundown of one of our colleagues, a very special colleague of ours, right? She gave this experience, and it's baffling for me to say the least. So, she said she was on a bike, as in Baiko Okada. <laughs> and. By the time she will get to her destination, the other guy that was seated behind her had already released practically on her. Like, how? <laughs> From <laughs> where to where? You know, as I heard the story, so this was this morning, as we're getting prepared for the show and stuff, and she talked Crazy. about it, and to say that I cringed would be a massive understatement. I was like, ah, what? Like, yeah, the look on my face was, was comical. So, like, let me paint the picture, right? So, you have the bike man. Right. And, you know, for most places in Lagos, we have the bike man who will insist that they're going to he take two passengers. Or, if you're going to be the only one, you're going to be paying for, for two. Yeah. Like, if you're not comfortable with having two people. So, so uh, this is our colleague. We're not going to mention her name again. People did not hear it the first time. We'll keep it moving. So, she was seated in the middle of the... Uh, the bike, so the other man, 
was behind her, so she's in the middle basically. And then she realized she got to a stop and she got down, and then she realized that there was something like semen. Come on, there guys, was yuri yuri. ah, here, <laughs> like that. To see that is wow, to be a massive that, that's, understatement. That's, I mean, that, come, come on, guys, guys come on, guys. No, guys, come on. All right, so let me move on. I have one, I think I have a couple. Come on, in Why Lagos, you have one in Lagos, you have more than one, right? Oh, you have more on, than one. More so than there was this one, so I am very. I'm very particular about people not body shaming. Like I can't stand it. I don't even let people do it around me. Like, I'm, going to, you, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to shun it. Body shaming, like if I say ah, or a bonnet, like you don't need fast. to. No, no, come on, really. A lot of people find it offensive, right? So don't call them what they don't want to be called. So I'm very particular about that. So now uh, there was we'll this situation. There was this situation. So I was going to my former place of work and. It was in the morning. You know how it is with Lagosians and early mornings. We all want to get to where we're going to quite early. I don't want to run late. I was I was still in good time. So I got in. So it was a keke, like mm -hmm. the Napep. And so they take three passengers at the back. Then I I was the second person who got in. Then this uh, woman also got in after me. All making right. it three. All right. I kid you not. As she sat, I could not breathe. I kid you not, like the one who followed you. Yes, yeah, so I was seated in the middle now. Okay, there was somebody there I before you got to. Yeah, there was a gentleman. I feel you know when you sandwich butter in between bread or maybe jam. Ah! See, I felt bad afterwards. I wasn't rude to her, but the way I got down, I just do not. I don't you know how to, to get down. I don't know how I got down. And I realized I was already outside of the Mara. Like it was, it was that bad. And the woman, she felt uncomfortable. But I see, I hope people can feel my pain. Have you ever been sandwiched before? You said try cycle, we call guess. it kekena pepper bag. So I mean All you guys right. get the gist, right? So they package you. I was sandwiched. That's that's the only word I could see. I was compressed in a way that I could not breathe. Could How breathe. I found my way down, I don't know. The woman felt uncomfortable. But, but see, I mean, the, the Napep guy, he asked me now. to come and sit in front. No, thank you. I ain't sitting. Mm -mm, no, mm -mm, mm -mm. I didn't come to this life to come out. Why? I'm going to work. <laughs> Why do I have to? No, 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 no. You no. So that is the like part. I'm coming. Shaming people. Yes, like I said. But, but you get, no, I'm you coming. Done? No, I'm coming. I'm coming. I, the way it was, it was flight of uh, fight response for me. I just needed to breathe and I couldn't breathe. So what I did was I found my way out of that Napep by hook, crook. Or any method possible. <laughs> but guys, see, this is the part. Of course, I'm not body streaming, but if you're of a certain size, you know that it's going to be difficult for the this, uh transport guys. They don't care how big you are. So they want their money to be complete. So even yes, if they, now, there I, is I, almost I no space. To pay for two you'll find it too. But yeah, I've just told you, man, like, ah, mommy, you are big. Oh, let me, you should you will lap me. And, well, lap okay. And I think the woman have lapped you. Easy. There's no. Why did you get down? Now, now I'm feeling bad for the woman. How? Like I said, I don't. I, I like. Let I me like tell the you what that happened. <laughs> what do we call? Um, like I don't like calling them big guys. You say we should stop calling them big guys. There's plus a, size. Is plus size. Plus size. Yeah. I tend to. I tend to forget. Plus so, size. There was this plus size woman. So apparently she was the first to get into the bus. This is normal downfall bus. So she got in, or she's aware of her size. So she told the um, conductor that, ah, don't worry, I'll pay for two person. Like, two seats. She's going to pay for two seats so that she doesn't inconvenience any other person. Sure you get. But, babe, when she sat down, like the entire vehicle <laughs> went down, we felt like, I was like, something is in this vehicle. So the 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 driver was already ranting like. You are saying the color that they look with the color inside this bus. <laughs> no, let any kind of person. No, we are like, service is going to pay. Oh, that is how the conductor got really angry. Like, well, yeah, madam, please get down. And she was like, Shebe said, I'm going to pay for two, two seats, people. Yeah. So, What's why are you problem? telling me to get down and stop? It said, I'm not carrying you again. <laughs> And that was, I, really, that was, I really felt that bad was for mean, her. I think. I, a lot of us started supporting her and said, she be said she was going to pay for two people, let her sit. Why are you making a case out of but, you? But um, Omo and when she left, when she stood up, oh Jesus. You could feel it. The vehicle came back up. The the even the engine of the bus was like, ah, God thank you. So hey, guys, I think I think uh 
as a people, right, I just think we should just be more sensitive of other people. If you need to pay for two seats, I know it's not convenient, especially in this economy, but right. you just might have to pay for it because you're going to be inconveniencing someone else Over who's going people. to be sitting in there. Uh, but for that conductor, he could have handled it better, I think. Okay. As well as the driver. conductors are not nice. They're not known. They're not known to be nice. Anyone that is nice to you has a motive behind him or her being nice because I, I think they're now female conductors. I mean, I've seen I've seen a few, right? But you know, Lagos conductors from not having change to telling you that and why don't you come with change? I they will not tell you from the beginning that they don't have change. You, you will not get into the bus. They will not tell you. And you know the year say I tell you, you come inside with your change. Oh, Excuse goodness. me, sir. You didn't, didn't tell me that. Okay, now I've given you money. So should I leave my change? To you, so I, I, bros, there was one Sunday too. You know, Sunday is to be uh, made holy, right? Say, keep Sunday holy. So I said to myself that, to sin, right? You enter this bus, go to church, you are not going to fight anybody. You are a fighter? No. No, anki panky, no, voila. But this conductor just made sure that I lose my tie. Ah, <laughs> I was, it's not funny. It's not funny. Let me tell you what happened. So I was, I joined the vehicle <laughs> from Songo. We we're going to oh our our end destination. I'm serious. You're laughing. Our end destination was Oshodi. So he, he, I heard him clearly. Although I know that the price for the fare was that's not the normal amount, right? But he said two hundred naira, and I was very happy. Normally, the fare price should be around three hundred, three fifty. Do you understand? But since said to me, and I double checked. How much did you call I it? double checked. Uh, sir, how much did you call this fair before I entered? So, not to cause problem. So, we, I enter, I paid. He said he doesn't have change. I gave him 500 naira. So, I expected to collect 300 naira change, right? So, we got to Oshodi. Babana gave me 200 naira change. I like, this is not my complete chain. Please, sir, find 100 naira. Let us let me go to where I'm going to. And he was like, how much you want to carry on before? Didn't I not tell you that it's 300? And I didn't ask you. You told me twice. Like, I double-checked with you. You said 200 naira. Because people were not much at the bus stop. So you were just, just anybody enter inside your bus. You know what I'm saying? And he has changed his mind. Jesus. <laughs> the team paying me. I've already... Oh, I think I didn't buy a drink. <laughs> and I didn't buy a drink on the way. We learned on trek from Oshodi to, to Sue Larry. He pay, it's all this. Thank God for Uber now. But even these Uber drivers. Oh, that, that, that's a new level. That's a new level. But before we get into know. the Uber story, because I, I, yeah, uh, I Uber, know. all of this cab uh, that you. Uh, that we order online now, yeah, for different from the yellow cap, even from the yellow cap, if I have stories. But before we go into that, I remember that over the course of is it this week, last week, on Twitter, some images, troubling and yet funny images. You see people, uh, passengers having to hold down the brakes of the vehicle, and the lady's caption was that the driver asked her to hold down the brake, <laughs> <laughs> so he wants to go and fight. That's it, so the two. Jesus. <laughs> that is coming. Like I saw quite a number. I didn't see that. Lagos is a wild place to be. And if you're yeah, not living, yeah, if you're not yeah, living yeah, in yeah, Lagos, yeah. yeah, and you also have your own wild experiences with public transport, please hit it down from Molwes to to Danfo to Keke to Okada. Be, you can't be Lagos State. I don't want to know. Anywhere just, in the world, Lagos State. Ah, public there are transport. levels. You see that Molwe? Ha, ah, their story. I don't know, but uh, now I'm Porsche. Uh, God has done it. <laughs> we have stopped. <laughs> we have stopped using climbing mode. Oh, there there, there needs to be a time in my life. Eh? <laughs> After work. Started from the bottom. After way. work. Because we already know we can't get on that bridge. Mode where they already parked, waiting for commuters to join in. You get 100 naira down to uh, a black by access. And, uh, we'll wait. I mean, waiting for standing. Standing is 50 naira. <laughs> Away for standing, and I will see guys that they look good. They have this money to pay for sitting, but they have, they have a motive. Like I'm going to tell you about this motive, guys. They do this a lot. Lagos guys, their only motive is to group. Like they would just wait for one particular lady to enter inside the bus like this. You see them rush 
front and back. What are you looking for? Tell me. Tell me your problem. All they want to do is fill her up from her bum bum to her breasts. Are you that? Are you that sex out? The was one. The man was so embarrassed. He didn't expect the lady to speak out. And it's a very good thing. We, normally, me, I, I was surprised that the lady spoke up. Because normally, a lot of people would just let me let him just do what he's doing and you know. I keep him moving. And, yeah, let us forget about it. But she spoke up like she like Baba or something like she. The man was so embarrassed and people, people entered the man, like, God, the man was forced to get down from the next person. Very fitting. And that's quite, it's, you expect, so a lot, a lot more of these guys do this, from older to younger men. And it's, it's nonsense, is the height of it. And I absolutely uh, applaud that lady. For most ladies, they just don't want to call so, that kind of attention to like themselves. A, a drama because these guys, they can scene. be very, very verbose. Like, nonsense just comes out of their mouth for free. They don't pay for it. So you always try not to call this kind of attention to yourself. And you just don't want drama. And you see these guys, they sit with an elbow. <laughs> right? They do this. See, if I, if I do it like this, like call them out. That's it. Call them out. It, increase the volume. You pitch it. And they'll be like, excuse me. Can you please take your hands? If it's not getting the English, do pigeon. If it's not get pigeon, do your... See, make it so he understands exactly what you're saying. And then when you shout at him, if you're even holding pepper spray, so you can just sprinkle a bit. Guys, guys, it's, right, it's guys, nonsense. You guys, you it's are, nonsense. You are shaming us. It's nonsense. You are it's shaming nonsense. us. You don't need all of this. Connected. Marry, you know, marry. It's not. Now, if you're entering boss just to fill a woman's. Come on, go and marry. It's nonsense. Go on, all right, I, have, I have a reaction here. I have say. Uh, say right. he said, so I posted this on my personal page uh, on Facebook, Instagram. And Twitter, I did that as well. So I got a couple of reactions from a couple of you guys. I have Shay from Berger saying, my own wildest experience. It might not be as wild as a lot of people's own, oh but my own was because he pained me a lot. I was getting ready to write an exam. I was on my way to uh, an examination or I had an exam to write. And uh, in this vehicle, the man was jamming such a loud Yoruba tune. And I told him, could you please inc uh, reduce the volume of, the, of what he was playing? He reduced it. And less than 10 minutes again, it increased it to an even higher volume than what wow. it was before. before. I was so upset. I kept on telling this man, he chose to not listen. He will reduce it. After a couple of minutes, he will increase it. After, after some time, he just did not even listen to me at all. How I wrote that exam, man, only God knows. Yeah. But that's, for me, that was how insensitive the man was. Because I, I kept on explaining to him that I'm trying to read, please. Could you please just reduce? And speaking of this one, so Shay just took me to another direction. Music is good. Yeah, good saying, music is great. But loud, deafening, yeah. brain shattering can yeah. come on now. And a lot of these guys do it. And then when you, you, you have the audacity, the, the nerve, right? As a person that you are paying no, on top of your money, that you are paying and these guys go like, oh, you have a call. So most times I try to bear it. But I want to pick a call. I want to make a call. I'm sorry, I'm not going to be yelling. Could you please reduce? There was this guy, the nasty look he gave me. You'd be wondering, maybe I asked him for something that was impossible. Could you please reduce the volume of what you're playing? The, the it, noise was so it, loud, right? was so deafening. Could you please reduce? I, so I kept on saying it over and again before he did. Did me the favor of reducing it just a tiny thing. It was just, at some point, I haven't paid him. I want to get down, deal with it. <laughs> then he went like, no, he has reduced. He has reduced, and you have to be yelling like that for me to even hear you over this sound. Come on, guys! Like it's 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 barbaric to say the least. What well, was that? The driver or the driver? Some, the driver. A passenger. The that driver. Was one was the a passenger like me. He, you know all the speaker now that we have that the portable go, ones. Yeah, people go. A old man, no old man like Baba. He was seated behind me in that bus. And we all got into the bus, quiet. We're about the, the ride was about to start, and all of a sudden, we just heard from behind the blast. It was no one now playing normal song that everybody knows. We we're not playing whiskey that be the video. But once they play Shino Peters, shout out to Sasha Shino Peters, by the way. All right, it's not, it's not a shade whatsoever on you, sir. No, it's not. But the fact that it was loud, it was definitely was. It, it, no, no sir, sir, you are, you are, no, you are a legend in the game, no, absolutely. No, no, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying, I'm, 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 not, I'm not doing that. I'm saying that, he just started blasting the music, 
Sorry, but that way I can reduce it. From, from the way I was looking at I, I was looking back all the while and they like daddy. From my look, I was telling him like daddy, please. But no. Then he started telling his friend that uh, look at the way that boy is looking at me. He wants me to reduce it. I'm not going to reduce it. <laughs> oh my lord. But hey, I, I think what I would have done was I'll tell him to please reduce it, sir. See a lot of us uh, no, come on, Lagos. And I had a banging headache. I, I just right. I gave up, man. I just gave up. I just but I enjoy. Just enjoy, right? Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. So I have another reaction here. I have been bought from K2 saying hi, Labi. Hi, Tosi. Hope you guys are very well. My own list, uh, my experience with public transport, the wild ones, I just cannot name a few. But this particular one stuck out for me. It was the fact that I was on a bike. And I was sitting in the middle of the bike man and the other gentleman who was behind me. Over and again, I kept on feeling something poking me <laughs> while the ride was <laughs> on. I just did not, I was uncomfortable and I kept on moving closer and closer to the oh bike Lord. man. This thing did not stop. I just kept, I was wondering wow. what in the world this was. Only for me to get down and alight, like alight of the bike when I got to my stop. And I realized that this man and I had an erection. Wow. So that was the... That was what was poking me. She used the word that I don't want to use. On air, that, that was what was poking her, basically. And come on. These experiences, they are so, so common. It's wild. That's the thing. It's so... Guys, we need to do better. From the conductors to the drivers to we the passengers as well. We just, there's a lot. There's a lot going there's on. There's a lot going on. We have... I don't want to say the word. We just have a lot of very interesting people. You know, interesting. That's the word. The yeah, road, yeah. Driving, very interesting. Walking down the road. All right. Let me read a reaction here also. So it is from Toby um, from Ikotsu. So she said that um, um, this is not, she said this is actually not a boss boss uh, incident. But um, let me just read it. So she said she, this happened on Friday last week. She said she was going for a video. Um, said there was traffic. But they didn't know what caused the traffic. So, but since she was already close to the bus stop, she got down from the bus and walked to the bus stop. And just to find out that a man with his private car parked in the middle of the road just to urinate. What? Wow. What? That's wild. No, that's wild. Come As on, guys. Wee wee. Wait, wait, wait. Toby, please, I, I need you to, 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 to say that. Like, he packed and was doing... Come on. Where was the police? That's, that's wow. That's, that's wow. Sir, I, I don't know what to say. Oh, God should be happy now, so... Uh, it's, it's so common in Lagos, like, we see a lot of traffic, like, there's old up, and you get to the front, and I'm like, Nothing yeah, is exactly happening. Is causing this traffic. Nothing. Go on, go on, go on. And actually, I, I think uh, traffic and Lagos, there's Siamese strains. I don't, I don't know. Eh? They're just the kind of relationship. But let's move away from that. That's crazy. That's one crazy experience right there. Now, I am going to throw a particular shot is to the guys. There's a way men right, sit in public buses. I don't get it. Are you in your sitting room or what? How? But with your legs spread so wide and you're inconveniencing someone else. And then I ask you, could you please out and give me one nasty kind of look? See, don't worry. I'll uh, not wait, I'll wait. not be kind again. I'll, 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 I'll give it to you. Why are you saying it's guys that sitting down like that? I, Most I times my experience, you. my experience has been with men. There's also where you guys sit. I don't know. I think you guys want to be uh, to be comfortable. Come on, guys. Oh, is it oh another wild one? How can I forget? You were doing something. Oh yes, this has happened to me. This has happened to me. I was saying something on my phone. Mm. I was, I was reading something on my phone. I don't know, an article, a book. I cannot remember for certain. But what happened was, while I was reading uh, what I was reading, I had this person had the guts, the nerve, the audacity, yeah, the temerity. Wow. Apparently, this person was I, looking... Uh, only you want English. Apparently, this person was looking through my phone, and I, already, I flipped <laughs> the page. So I flipped the page, and this person actually said, can I please take it back to the previous page? Like, no lies. No, no, like, like, no like, lies. Like, seriously. Legit. Like, bro, I weak. You guys were reading together. Apparently, I did not know that we were sharing the phone. <laughs> <laughs> like, the nerve. I was reading something on my phone. And you go, and I, I, sw I, I swipe to the next page. I and you were like, please, go back. So, could you please, yeah, you guys. What was your response to him, like? See, maybe if I respond next year. I was, I was in too short. much talk. <laughs> what, what in the world? Come on, guys. Really? 
Ah, no, no, no. Ah. That was a wild experience. No, that was a wild experience. That was a wild experience. That was a wild experience. But, Tosi, I did not remember to ask you. There was something you wanted to rant about. So, I'm not the only person who had something to vent about. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, that's true. About. Thank you so much for reminding me. So, I think it was yesterday I got the news, right, about the death of this young man uh, that killed himself. He jumped into a river. Is it like going now? Okay, I, I, yeah. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. I've not read the story properly, right? But what I want to rant about is not him killing himself. It's, it's suicide. Who, it's we need to find, suicide. fish out that young man I was doing a video. You see somebody who's about to jump off a cliff to kill himself and for God knows why he gave you that opportunity to be there at that moment and all you could muster in your mind, in your head is to do a video and it's not a cry out video or a call for help video. It's to show what? That you carry first that you were the one that video somebody that jumped into the lagoon and died. It's that's, stupid to say the least. I, I don't understand it. Now we are full of business thing in this part of the world. Like smart team, we are already everybody's on their phone, taking videos, taking pictures, of, and you are not looking for a way to sort out what you, we need to do. And uh, I think my heart goes out to the family of the young man. I mean, our hearts goes out to the family of the young man. But guys, really, we need to do come better. On, come We've on, got to do on, better. You on. see people filming an accident scene without calling for help of the security of uh, the, yeah, the officials, calling the emergency lines. You don't do that. You just wait. You post it. While people could be dying, mind you, and then you post that so you're like, like the first person to break the news. You see a building burning. You don't call the helplines. You don't. You don't do yeah, that. Just you just want to capture the... Are you capturing the moment? Are you, are you trying to immortalize their pain? Like, what's the motive? Like, let's... We've got to do no, better. We've got to do better. We've got you to are do now better. doing video. For what? We've got so to you do can better. watch it again. Like, really, we've got to do better as a people, as a society. I mean, uh, it's it's no, nice that we can no, actually, on. you have a proof uh, of this particular thing happening. So you can film this event uh, while it happens and all of that stuff. But, guys, but you can use your phone to actually help people. You can use, I mean, this internet, yes. If you had, if you, I mean, you could have gone on IG Live. You could have, if you were, I mean, really, and you could get help. To talk, to, perhaps get a professional who could actually talk, talk this person to him at the moment, out of that particular you know, decision. Talk him out of making that rational decision. But no, you were not doing the clip. He jumped. You are still doing the clip. It's, I don't know, it's, it's not necessary. It's, we need to but, do but, better. But, it's come on. Responsible. Uh, but uh, to add to that conversation, it's uh, quite a no number of people are going through a lot. And I mean, it's and as we, uh, this past few months, this, this year in particular, has opened a lot of our eyes to mental health issues that people are going through. COVID sure did not help in that anxiety, depression, people losing their jobs, jobs and source of livelihood. But guys, if you need someone to talk to, there is always something better, all right? It, it, it's, it just might be not going the way you want it to go. Uh, I mean, quite a number of people are going through a lot. So let's talk about the helplines that you can reach out to. 112 is Nigeria's emergency hotline. So Sweet. if you actually need someone to talk to, they're going to connect you with the appropriate uh, authority. authority and uh, help that you actually need. And for Lagos, 767 is the uh, hotline. For the Nigerian Suicide Prevention Initiative Counseling Center, this is the number for you to call, all right? 0806 210 I'll take it again. 0806-210-6493. There's another one. 0809-210-6493. So guys, please, there's always someone willing to talk to you, to, to hear you out. And I mean, just if you need help, there is always, always a shoulder to lean on. I know that things are difficult. Things are not the best it can possibly be. I mean, people are going through a lot, man. I'm, I'm, going I'm, I'm, a lot. I'm, I can't. It's really has changed my mood because it's, it's, you see, you know, people just say that, um, like they made fun of it that, um, <laughs> like me. when you tell people your problem, nobody's ready to see it's See, it's try as much as possible. There's somebody who's going to listen to you, right? As much as everybody has what they are going through, you know, the person you're telling your story to also has a story to tell, but. That shouldn't stop. I still believe Nigerians, we're, we're one of the best people at listening to people's problem and trying to provide a solution. So, I mean, the young man that died, I won't hurt he has a one-year-old baby girl. And 
it's really, it's really, it's really, it's really, it's really, it's really sad. It's heart wrenching. It's, really it's really heart wrenching. That's the, that's what. But guys, let's. I mean, I hope we did not end this on a note that you didn't like, like basically. But, but it's something that we've got to talk about. And that, uh, as an additive before we leave, or right, before we carry our kaya and leave the studio, is the fact that COVID and uh, COVID Omicron or Marion or whatever the name is. And Amatan is not going well together because you don't uh. know which one is which. So, guys, make sure that you stay safe, wash your hands properly, mask up, get vaccinated. That's very get, important. And most importantly, get um, what's this thing we press all the time? Sanitizers, your yes, your pocket sanitizers. Right. It's, it comes in handy, right? So, so you can keep it in your pocket. A lot of people are getting malaria vibes. Ma malaria. You have catch coro. So, you might, not, you, might not, you might seriously need to go check up, right? Or get your vaccine. It's please our health is really, really very important. Health is well, please. guys. Health is well. We don't see any so, so before we carry our kaya, kind of, like I said, we're already carrying it uh, to leave the studio. We're lifting it. We're logging it. I have one question for you before we go. For me. If you were to share a bike, uh, this bike situation I've already talked about. It's kind of about our guys. I've also dropped their reactions about that one. If you were to share a bike mm -hmm. with the opposite sex to commute from one place to the other, where would you rather sit? If you're a lady, would you rather sit in front, like the middle, with the gentleman behind you, or would you like to sit behind the gentleman? And if you're a guy, where would you like to sit, in the middle or at the back I of the behind. lady? I sit behind. I don't want uh, I don't want problem. anybody. I don't want anybody there. I if I can afford it, I pay for the two seats. Today, we'll climb the same bike. Uh -uh, climb ban. Let's start. Today, we'll and you sit in my front. No, thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, keep it no locked worries, right here no. on CTV. No I mean, that we carry. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. Bye bye. <laughs> oh. Well, it's, it's